Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're here with Atticus on the Normandy. We have one more mission left. The arrival. Admiral Hackett asked Shepard to infiltrate a Batarian outpost and rescue Dr. Kenson. Kenson is a deep cover operative and scientist who claims to have proof of an imminent Reaper invasion. It makes me wonder what this would be like if we didn't do it now. Arrival. Because at the end of the game, we've seen all of the Reapers coming from dark space to our galaxy. And this Dr. Kenson has proof of an imminent Reaper invasion. I wonder if how, how drastic it just changes. Travel to the Batarian outpost on Aratot. Bahak Systems Viper Nebula to break Dr. Kenson out of prison. She's in a Batarian prison. Hackett said something about this. We can't bring people in this mission. Remember, I did get a refresher from the conversation with Hackett. I went back to the episode that we got it. And I listened to it before this episode, so let's just get right to it. Fully up to speed of what's going on here. An eminent Reaper invasion. Bastuzda? A hydrogen and helium gas giant, Bastuzda is home to infrastructure that gathers helium-3 as well as military space stations that supply and protect the resources. Spy satellites are in abundance here, watching for undesirables entering the system for fugitives fleeing it. Edie's Travel Advisory? Edie's Travel Advisory. The Batarian hegemony considers any presence of Alliance military vessels in Batarian space as hostile. The Normandy SR-2, while an independent vessel, strongly resembles the Normandy SR-1, an Alliance ship, use stealth systems is highly recommended. Probe away. We're in Batarian space. Holy hell. We're at 20% now. This is going to be it. This is the last couple of planets we're going to read in Mass Effect 2. What the hell? A hothouse planet with thick atmosphere of methane and ethane. Logan has been left relatively untouched by the Batarian hegemony. As with many Batarian planets, spy satellites circle it, watching for pirates or other enemies of the state who come by the planet to discharge their ship's drive course. And the travel advisory is exactly the same as the other one. Launching probe. Edie? But he used that stealth probe. We're at 40% now. We'll have there must be oh, there's a little one right here. Look at this big purple one. Or Mola? A hydrogen helium gas giant Amola is home to infrastructure that generates both helium-3 and anti-protons. Both sources of fuel are restricted to hegemony ships, forcing merchant vessels to dock at Batuzda to refuel before their journey. A sizable naval station is stationed in Yermola, its ships guarding the installations from enemies within and without. As with the other planets in the system, spy satellites are that word sure Probe launched. another one down we have a little one here that would be 80 and then Aratat's gonna be a hundred Yumaka a tiny rock planet Yumaka's atmosphere is a thin sheen of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide what hygemony protectionism makes mining on Aratat more profitable for Batarian corporations a few agent spy satellites circle it, watching for unlicensed mining operations. Still the same travel advisory from ED. Probe away. And then we have Aratot, which is the last one in the game. Pretty sad about that, really. Look at that, 100% everything. Holy freaking moly. We did a lot of reading. Aratot, like Mount Everest inside an oven was how John Grissom described Eratot while on a fact-finding mission to see the Garden World was worth contestion with the Batarians. His team ultimately decided that the planet's air pressure and oxygen content were too low for large-scale human habitation. Under the tier, the Batarian hegemonies colonized the planet's polar regions and began an extension terraforming effort with cyanobacteria and invasion plant species. Alliance Intelligence has confirmed that the colony as several Batarian military installations which are too close to human space for the Alliance's comfort. Same one with the advisory. What's the population here? They don't even say- oh, right here. 
Colony founded 2162 CE. Estimated population is 90,000 free and 215,000 other. Capital is Ecta. Shall we land? I do hope we can bring somebody, but I don't think we can. No, it doesn't look like we can. Also, I did go around checking and see if the squad had anything. They did not have nothing. No one had anything new. I also went to Tachunka, and I got that heavy weapons upgrade, which put our heavy weapons up to 75%. And then I changed Shepard's weapon from the cane to the arc projector. I think we're going to go to the arc projector here, just in case we have any kind of mechs. Because Overload DLC, or whatever it was, Overlord DLC... We didn't really get a chance to use a cane that much. Well, we didn't use it at all, really. Let's go. Reaper invasion. Shepard like an absolute fucking boss. You see him? Let's see, we don't have anything for anything, really. I guess we can put this here and that there. Might as well put this here. No companions, that's a spam button for me. Got all these spam buttons, I know. Here. We'll put this up here, just in case we actually need it. Is this the only weapon we have? Oh, I was about to say, wait. We've ready for this. Let's read. Arrival. An eminent Reaper invasion. We read that. Infiltrate the Batarian outpost to break Dr. Kenson out of the prison. Oh, we gotta infiltrate. We have to be not seen. I'll just get the fuck in there. Get her out. Cut power. Get that out. Looking for a Dr. Kenson. Is that a body? Looks like a Varen body. Are we ready for this? We've been spotted. Varen. The Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. We do. I appreciate that Shepard's talking to himself. <laughs> because I really love that when you're doing like a something solo in a game and you kind of just have... Was that that one bridge back there? Anyways, it always keeps me really immersed when the character's talking to himself. Or self, it don't matter. What we're playing. Just something. There ain't no going through here. What exactly was that for? Oh, right here! More Varen. Come here, Varen. This place is run down. Even for a prison. Fuck did he go? Cut power. You like that singularity. Place is run down even for a prison. It's pretty fucking tore up, Shepard. Get the human in question. Get your hands off me. Oh, we can't just walk through that. We might trigger some alarms. Let's try to be as stealthy as we can. That sounded like, what? Well, I, I didn't read the subtitles, but it might have been the Dr. Kenson. Whoa! Any more Varen want some? That only got one side, though. Good 
Britain's Baron. Wait, let's check over here first. I I wonder what where, where this takes us. You think it shut off the valve over here? It did not. Dude, that one cuts off that one. Do we attempt to run through that? I don't think we do. But this... If you put that on... Oh, it turns it off. There we go. Credits. This looks interesting. Heavy weapon ammo. Oh, we can't go. Damn. I hear humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. How long have we been fighting the Batarians? So long, it seems now. The humans and Batarians seem to have been at odds for quite a long time. Wasn't it because the humans colonized some stuff and the Batarians didn't like it from what we read from the lore? Batarians used to be on the Citadel, and they went rogue because they couldn't stand the humans. Something like that. We don't really have much lore on the Batarians, but that's, a, that's around... Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. They wanted to slam a asteroid into a mass relay? Who? Somebody they caught. I'm not good at stealth. Oh shit. Shepard ain't sneaking. Still got her down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. I ain't going that way. Cut power. Got her down in the prison, interrogating a human is a waste of time. We open that door, they're coming in, we're fighting. But is there anything down there? No. We got... Stuff over here. We go down there, we're gonna get caught too because it's going to take us right out in front of them people maybe up here but well, somebody went in this door I don't think we have a choice no way it would have worked relay can't be damaged much less destroyed those humans will do anything to destroy us I swear we have to make this one an example to the other. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. They were trying to destroy a mass relay? Oh shit. Whoa. There's a shuttle incoming. Clear the hangar bay. I heard an artifact was found in that asteroid belt. Flags all over. An artifact was found in the asteroid belt. Were they trying to destroy it? But run it into a mass relay? What? Wait, what? Fucking hell, we going the right way. There's enemies on us. Not exactly on us, but... But they're close. This is kind of intense. Let's be honest, any kind of stealthy shit in games is always intense. Fucking hell. Our comm relay intercepts paid off. We picked up a message to the Alliance coming from somewhere in the asteroid belt. We listened to the feed until 
we discovered an operation run by a human named Kenson. Smuggling engine parts and guidance systems into the system from Omega, we intercepted Kenson's vessel and took her and her people into custody. Interrogation has produced nothing but frenzied rambling so far. Frenzied rambling? Doesn't sound good. What if it was an indoctrination type shit? Said some kind of artifact. What if it was a this reaper? Apparently the mastermind. If she doesn't talk, kill her. What if it was a reaper artifact? Frenzied rambling? Open door. What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. That Lincoln, though, I'm here for that evidence. We have to get you out. We have, we have to get you out of here. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> then we'll find one. Go. Ready. Oh, she's in our squad. She's got overload. Alright. We'll get overload back on. And then she's got... Incinerate as well. Good on you, Henson. Just when I needed some tech. Ringleader has escaped. Does she got? Does she need to get leveled up? Oh, we can't even look at the squad. That's fine. Good written sucker. We'll get on to our submachine gun. Hey, Kenson, where the hell are you at? Oh, there you are. You ready? I guess I'll keep you on that weapon. Where are we supposed to go? Down. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Okay. There we go. Incoming. Hello. Be careful. So it's Kasumi's mission all over again with one squatty. Oh, hell. Damn, good for you, Vatarians. Fucking hell. Man, these guys hit hard. Oh, that's not good. That flashbang is fucking beastly. Disabling system. We'll be all right. A little more efforts. The hell out of here. Damn, Kenson. These flashbangs remind me of the uh, Shadow Broker stuff. These Batarians are pretty tough. Shield oh. I need cover. We're gonna have to back up. Make a run. Good job, thank you, ma'am. Singularity. Like that. They're good with this flashbang grenade. Watch. Oh, it didn't hit us out of cover. That's fine. Works for me. Where are we supposed to go? To the right here. Maybe back here. There we go.
right here. Security console. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Oh, you're no longer in my squad. Your ability went away. Kenson's health. Oh, you're fucking. You're gonna be a corpse, ma'am. I'll try my best. Teams at a cell block now. Get through my shield. Hey, friends. Damn. I need cover. Fucking hell. These guys done ran up on me. We might have, have we might have to stay over here. Have them come to us. Like we need that to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. Okay, I'll run. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Yes, ma'am. Hello, <laughs> fellows. <laughs> we don't have to get behind cover. <laughs> fucking hell. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. I went up there, but I'm fucked up now. <laughs> they done ran past me. To you. I guess I'll run over here. They're coming up from below. Ugh. Oh, we haven't even killed. <clears throat> Kansas dead. And she called die. Oh, I hit him. All right, we need to take. We need to be careful here. Kenson's barely got any health left. She gets it. Why do you gotta put a health bar on her? That's totally not fair. Kenson's got a sliver, and we got a sliver. Fuck. <laughs> Kenson, use a meta gel. Maybe we should work on the guys first. When we get a break, run to the door. There it is. Taking heavy fire. This is super tough. Harder than the other DLC for sure. Unlocking all doors to the hangar. Still need more time. All right, Kenson, take a meta gel. Where's the other door? Well, they can't come from behind us, which is good. The other place, because that's locked down. Corpse. Oh, we missed. <clears throat> Shepard, you sure do get yourself in some shit. Alright, where's the other door I gotta... Watch Lock. the other side. More Lock enemies down. on the elevators. Fucking hell. Where's the elevators? I'm gonna come to you. Because I don't want them to hit you. Where, how'd you get over there? <laughs> Maybe be really careful here. Is there anybody over there? Doesn't look like it. Oh. We just gotta hold out here? Yeah. The AOE drain is good. My shield. Well. Let's stay down for a minute, because they don't got shields. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Okay, okay. You got a sliver. Damn, use a meta gel. 
You're a doctor, aren't you? Where the fuck are these guys coming from? We got nothing back here, which is very welcome. Done and done. Let's move. Hey, Kenson. Glad to see you back on my team. Oh, you're not on my team? Are you on my team? Maybe. Get to the hangar. Damn, that, that was, was tough. Like Woo! Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Explosives? Incoming. I need cover. Hello, Kenson. Anyone else want some? We just blew something up. Oh, we got. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. We're going to blow out the hangar doors. We're going to take this shuttle. We are going to board it. Overloading. Thank you, Kenson. I need cover. And the Batarians are pretty reckless. I'm running. Good rins, you son of a bitch. Freddy Shepard is loving this. I don't think he likes Batarians, friends. I got pulled. Burn. Yeah. Damn it. Fucking sneakies. They really up the AI, have they not? Don't you die, Kenson. I need you. We can board this sucker, but should we? There's got to be another door somewhere. Fuck. Where the hell did you come from? Take out the big boy. Nice shot. We do our best, madam. Is anybody gonna come up from behind us? We can't go to the shuttle yet. There's another oh. fucking door unless we get out that one door. Kenson, don't you go dying on me. I need that cover. Alright, you can have that cover. Deploying flammable. Oh, there's another thingy. Let me get this cover. There it is. Damn it. We're gonna have to get over there. Burn. There it is. Anything over here? Maybe we should go to the shuttle. Let's go. Holy. Burn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Reminding me of Zaid for some reason. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. 
From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reaper's invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Wait, wait a minute, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's... Can you even destroy a mass relay? Destroy the mass relay right here, yeah. Wait, I thought since we knocked out the Citadel relay that they can't invade like that. This is different though because they use the Citadel relay to kill the higher ups in the galaxy immediately and then they just, they just softened up the rest of the galaxy and they just took the rest of the galaxy at their whim. But this Alpha relay, they can come through and go anywhere? How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. Ma'am, you really sure about destroying a mass relay? It's fucking Reaper. Reaper tech. <laughs> it's gotta be impervious. Well, I don't know, maybe we can throw asteroids at Reapers if it works. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. You think so? That seems a bit excessive, don't you think? But maybe it might be... If she destroys this system, what happens to the other planets? They're done. Destroyed, all of them. That seems to be a lot, though, Kenson. What if it stops the Reapers? We don't know if it, the Reapers are really even coming through this. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. One button press, the big red button. Do not press. Big red button. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. But that's... That, she's only estimating that, though. 300,000 just on the colony that held them? Well, what about the other planets? I mean, we read the other planets. I don't know if there was any habitation on the other planets, though. 300,000 sounds like a lot. How were you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, and aftermarket Ezo core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. We are going to need more proof because it does seem a little far-fetched. But it could be real. The Reapers will come through an Alpha Relay here in a Batarian system and then go anywhere. So they'll be this would be the just well the word Alpha right there. This is the top dog relay that allows them to go to any relay. From what the lore says is this is that one relay is linked to another relay. And it's interesting, I know this is totally off topic, but what happens when Okay, what happens when you find one relay, yeah? It doesn't pinpoint you to the other relay, you just... It's inactive, basically, yeah? Okay, we find one relay. Say the humans found one relay, and the other relay that you need to find is not active. So what happens? You just have to eventually stumble upon the other one, and when someone stumbles upon the other one, then they both become linked and fully active? Is that how it works? But this one is linked to every single relay, then, from what it sounds. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. We're going to Arcturus Station? The artifact? Friends, uh, uh, stumbling onto the guards in the... 
the jail there said that she was mumbling on about a bunch of stuff. It does make me wonder, because they found an artifact. Indoctrination, yeah, there we go. What is a Reaper artifact doing on an asteroid? <laughs> we don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Proof of an invasion. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. Yeah, but if she was indoctrinated, I don't think it would show her visions of the Reaper coming then. Maybe she's not indoctrinated. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Yeah, but, okay, that's just what I'm thinking. If, if she's buying a Reaper artifact, and she used it, and it showed her visions, it's the, basically like the Prothean, the Prothean beacon. Are you sure it's not a Prothean beacon or something? Why would a Reaper artifact show an impending Reaper invasion? It seems counterproductive for what they do. They don't want to be seen, they just want to come in, take it all, and then roll out. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. Yeah. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Prepare your voice, Doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Oh, well, thanks for being nice. This is pretty interesting. It's still I still feel like a lot of unknowns is going on here with this. It's just a little off for them to show a Reaper invasion if it's a Reaper artifact. I don't I think that would be a thing? Should be a thing? Yeah? You think she's indoctrinated though? Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Two days until the Reapers get here? Are you sure that's right? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. It could be true then. The artifact could be telling people. Maybe this is goading people. Yeah, the Reapers are coming, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> you got two days. We're running out of time. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. We're about to link up to a beacon. Confirm the Reaper invasion. Holy hell, man. Object row. We don't have to read that, whatever the hell that is. Planet Aratot? We read that. Because it was already marked out. Object Row. Dr. Kenson's scientific team has cataloged three major discoveries on the artifact in case in the 157 Golgotha asteroid. First, the large artifact is rooted into a core of the asteroid and has a barrier that is similar to, but much more powerful than biotic stasis fields. It gives an unnatural resilience to alteration or damage and even presents state-of-the-art laser drilling from extracting the smallest piece for analysis. Second, the object's interior is energetically active with a quantum stasis field, rivaling that of the Prothean technology found in mass relays. Like those creations, it activates in response to threat, at which point the artifact consumes a phenomenal amount of power. 
Dr. Kenson's team believes the object draws this power directly from dark matter. Though, I would have still unknown. It almost makes me wonder if this artifact is that powerful, how are, they, how are they not indoctrinated then? They said they're being careful, they're not children. The third discovery is that the object broadcasts signals and information on many different spectra. One such pulse suspected to be similar to a quantum entanglement communicator reaches into Reaper territory. But that's dark space. Is it just reaching out of the galaxy then? Another broadcast is infrasound consistent with frequencies that trigger feelings of awe and fear in humans. A known factor in Reaper indoctrination. Kenson's laboratory is filled with equipment dedicated to monitoring any signal coming from the artifact in hopes that some clue will prove to the Reaper's undoing before too late. Maybe they can find something here. Maybe they're finding something here that's... Well, just maybe they're finding something here that's not... that can shield them from indoctrination. Maybe that's what this artifact is. Maybe it's not fully a Reaper artifact. We read this. I know we... it was marked out. Yeah, we read this at some point in the playthrough, I'm guessing, because it was marked out. It wouldn't be marked out for no reason. Okay, the Alpha Relay. Even so, we can just breeze through it right there, all of a sudden, read it. Well, we also read the, the planet before we even came in. The Alpha Relay. Discovering the Age of Mass Relay is not an easy task. Relay can shield themselves to preserve their integrity down to the quantum level. So taking a sample for analysis proves nigh impossible. Relays also maintain self-cleaning cycles, wiping away potential evidence, though damage or dormancy can cause the cycle to break down. Such as in the case of Charon Relay, which became covered in ice. Charon's R Relay that we discovered, yeah? A breakthrough was recently made by Dr. Amanda Kenson, who revisited old methods of dating the relays by testing dust trapped in their gravity wells. By comparing the relative velocity of relays, to that of the stars they orbit as well as the composition of the dust around dormant relays against the dust at known locations in their star systems, Kensig could create a timeline of when a relay passed through the dust. Crazy, so she's brilliant. The result dates the relay back millions of years, some may even predate the Protheans. Yeah, they're fucking Reapers. Kensig concluded that the oldest known relay is the Batarian space dubbed Alpha. It resides near the star Bahak, and it's unusual in its potential range and versatility. Alpha usually sends and receives mass at the range of a normal secondary relay, but if certain controls are adjusted, it becomes powered by an unprecedented amount of dark energy. That could send a cargo to 16 other relays, even across great distances to the Citadel. The Gemini authorities have kept this quiet, Fearing retaliation from council species would assume a hostile intent if they found a sudden new route into their space. It goes without saying that the Reapers have no such fear. The Batarians knew about it then. That they can go pretty much anywhere with this relay? Fucking hell. That's absurd. Whoa! Object row. Dr. Kenson claims to have proof of an eminent Reaper invasion, saying they plan to enter the galaxy through the Alpha Relay, the closest mass relay to dark space. Kenson was working on a project to destroy the Alpha Relay before it was put on hold. Now that she is safely out of the Batarian prison, Kenson needs to show Shepard evidence of the Reaper invasion. Go with Dr. Kenson to confirm her evidence of an eminent Reaper invasion. Kenson sounds pretty brilliant, but the thing is here, friends, this is the thing, right? Just because she found out that the Batarians can kind of go anywhere with this doesn't fully mean the Reapers will. But she's not wrong, let's be honest. If the Reapers, if, if the Batarians are using it like that, then the Reapers will easily just, that, that's their plan for sure. 100%, yeah, Kenson? I do see what you mean, it's, it's a fucking threat for sure. 
It's a huge threat. Well, shall we go see this? Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. To the right, you say? Oh, to the left. Okay, okay. I mean, here. Access is restricted. So, what would it take to get the project back yeah, up and running? You? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? Should you blow up a mass relay? <laughs> we have. The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. This is the relay they're going to be coming through. We destroy this, then they have no choice but to come, what, from dark space? Into the galaxy that way? So they'll come and collapse the outsides of the galaxy first. Oh man. What the fuck are we going to do here? <laughs> this seems rough. Would you destroy the Citadel relay? The relay in the Citadel system if we, if we had to? If it would stop, we'd have to evacuate all the people and destroy it. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. She said she was being careful. This Let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Wait. Take him down. We've been spotted. Fight for your life. <laughs> okay. Let's fight for our life. <laughs> this looks like a good spot. We gotta fight for our lives. <laughs> they love them fucking grenades, man. Got some shields. Well, we gotta start killing. They're flanking us. Trying to. Motherfucker's still flying. Look at him. He's on the. <laughs> He's on the medical equipment. Whoa! Hello, sir. Don't make this difficult, Shepard. Um. Do not resist. Give yourself over. Wait. I sound like a harbinger. Fucking hell, there's all types of guys. We're fighting for our lives here. Yeah, he's gonna run up on us. Fucking hell, he's not dead. This motherfucker is not dying. Damn right we're not going down. We're gonna kill them all. Slowly but surely. What happens when the power goes all the way up? Guess we're gonna find out. Let's get a reticle on this guy. Gonna run out of fucking ammo. Yeah. 
We don't need shields. What right, we do? We can get reticles on any of these fucking guys over here. For some damn reason. Just a couple of them. Look at him. <laughs> Look, there's no reticle. I can't use my fucking abilities on this guy. We didn't this want to hurt you, Commander. He's still flying. Look, I can't. Hit this son of a bitch. The galaxy is in sight. Your final days are at hand. Is he dead or this one over here I still can't oh, yeah. Shit. The Pyro, there's another fucking Pyro. Not good. Get our sniper. I'll tell you what, we're gonna get big guns. We can't keep this up much longer. You better try to. The end of your species will come. Bring it the fuck. Look at all these fucking people. <clears throat> got no shield. We got one on the top up there that's just hacking away at us. I'm gonna use all the fucking ammo if we have to. Project engineer. There's just more. <laughs> Oh no. Does that blow him up? Oh, he blew up. Where's the heavy mechs? Let's get... Oh, I guess we can... Big guns this guy and get his shield off. Get sniper. And this guy barely has any health. Who would have written? It's only a matter of time. Struggle if you wish. Your mind will be mine. Oh hell, the Big Mac's here. Let's use it all. Fuck. <laughs> We're about out of heavy ammo, almost. Lost shield. No. The mech's gonna get us. We gotta get our pistol out. Oh, damn it. We ain't gonna be able to move. We barely got health. We gotta get our pistol. Oh no. Hang in there, Shepard. Hang in there. Right, right, should we take something? Can we take a Metal gel? Sure. Let's see if we can knock him over. Shield fail. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> Hang in there, Shepard! Get our shields back up. That's fine. We don't have no heavy ammo. I'm happy we used that. The other cane would have been better. <laughs> we would have been able to use the the cane and fucking one shot the mech probably, and all them guys that were over there. <laughs> Give me that shit. Are you like that? Let's pull him. Blow his ass up. Have faith in the artifact. It 
It'll be over soon. Anyone else want some? You shall be the first to witness our arrival. Fucking hell, that was close. We dead? Take him to the med bay and patch him up. We want Shepard alive. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> What's going on here? They're all indoctrinated. They work for the Reapers. Like was like waking up a moment, waking ago. Up a moment ago. But it could be a but glitch in the system. 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 Hi. <clears throat> no glitch. The sedatives aren't working. <laughs> Security! Escape captivity. So no matter what, we kill the fucking guys we still got pulsated by the Reaper artifact. Are they all indoctrinated working for the Reapers? Did they want to capture us for the Reapers? Kind of like, uh, well, that's what the collectors wanted to do. They're using this artifact. The artifact is showing them what they want to see. They're showing them what Shepard wants to see. Assume. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. You think? You're being controlled by the Reaper now. But why would they still... Okay, they weren't indoctrinated at first. But they were going to destroy the Relay, but they got indoctrinated. So now they're definitely not destroying the Relay. That's not what they want to do. Their whole goal now is to get Shepard. Assuming a direct control Security. of this man. I'll be back up in the med bay. <laughs> hey, ma'am. <laughs> and we get the controller <laughs> mech. Whoa. Friendly fire, man. Excuse me. Whoa, we got wrecked, huh? Hello. How are you? Shoot his gun off. Back up. Where's Shepard at? Look at him. <laughs> Atticus, what are you doing in there? <laughs> Oh man, this is crazy. We're gonna have to utilize a fuck ton of mechs here because they're... Wait, where are you going, Atticus? Might as well use them all. Shall we? So they don't kill us when we get out of here. This is a pretty rough pistol. It's not bad. I've always wondered what it was like now. With the upgrades. God, grief. <laughs> Insanity makes everything meat shields. Excuse me. Assistance. Does it not? Hell, man. They're all indoctrinated. What the fuck we got to go going on here? We got a whole indoctrinated place to deal with. Probably. I'm about to fuck you all up. Shepard has been sedated constantly for two days now. We've had to increase each dosage. It seemed like Shepard was waking up a moment ago, but it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. <laughs> Ain't shit working on Shepard at this point. Seriously, remember the poison that we drank on Omega? Shepard just walked it off like it was nothing.
You gotta feel bad for him because they wanted now what was I can best. See it in my mind. Why won't this stop? They probably wanted what was best at first, but they got indoctrinated. So how do you fight it though? How do you fucking fight the Reapers? Indoctrination just happens. It just, it just fucking does. And how, how do you just how do you fight it? There's gotta be a way to guard indoctrination a little bit. There we go. Did we get full much time? I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. We got less than two hours. What? In the. Uh, we got full ammo. Yeah, we got full ammo now. You guys are screwed. Maybe we should have used the cane. Hey, whatever. We did it. What is in here? We got less than. When it's silent, when there's no one else around, I can hear it. Whispers in the back of my mind. I can't tell what they're saying. I spoke to Dr. Kenson about it, and she seemed to understand. What the hell is going on? Indoctrination, friend. There's just no way to guard it. I hope. I hope it doesn't look like. Unless we find something here. It doesn't look like. We're going to figure out this indoctrination thing, at least in this game. I hope when we get the Mass Effect 3, there are ways to fight against indoctrination, possibly, somehow, some way. Toughen ourselves so we don't get indoctrinated, because if there is a Reaper invasion and multiple... We've seen it. Did you see all the Reapers coming? Friends, it's going to be so easy for them to disindoctrinate people. They're not, they're not going to touch down on worlds, probably, and indoctrinate people just like that. You're going to have to be close to them least but still there has to be a way to mitigate it some to fight it what was it saying like a week to two weeks the longest how long Shepard been around Reapers at this point we were on a Reaper for a couple hours we fought Sovereign but hello friends I haven't seen you guys in forever I'm taking fire give me that shield Well, I hope we're not timed here. The timer is rolling. Headshot. Let's get snipes out. You like that? You're going to just throw your people and fuck into their death, Kenson. Just give it up. Just give it up. Let us do what we were supposed to do here. I don't know Secure what's going to happen now. Do we still activate whatever it is? We've been spotted. Get up. Oh, he's dead. Targeting reticle keeps going off for some reason in this one. In this DLC, I don't know why. Shepherds in the living quarters. Seal off project control. Stop Shepherd now! Damn. I'm happy we got that upgrade now. The heavy ammo. Man, these guys are screaming like mad. Scared? Slow and steady. That shield off. I love it. Energy drain's so damn good. Shepard's in the living quarters. Let's go around. Because we are learning some interesting shit here. Well... I wish we could have got more time to study the artifact, but we would have end up being indoctrinated as well. Well, look, we're around an artifact right now, so this is more time towards that week or two weeks that the indoctrination settles in. Just mind-boggling. 
I've been saying it for a while. How are we supposed to fight this? Shepard is tearing us apart. Regroup. Shepard is tearing us apart. Did you not learn from your friends? Not doing that way. Shepard is tearing us apart. Come here. Why didn't you fly? Fuck! There's a flamethrower guy! We got a shield and close the door! <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from? Let the door close. We can't get back in. What the fuck in the hell? Alright, we're gonna throw his ass as soon as we go in. Or not. Fuck. This is tough, man. These flamethrower guys. I wish we had... I wish we had overload. Where did you come from? Out this door? Sneaky bastard. The rest of them dead? Well, I guess so. Let's go! I run. <clears throat> Damn. My shields are down. Fly, bitch. Someone's gotta say it. It's like Jack is here with us. That mother effer came from that door. Sneaky bastards, huh? Let's look around. See if there's anything going on. There's something here. Indoctrinated, just like you. The Reapers are coming, she says. But I'm not sure if I'm hearing fear or hope in her voice. She wants to see the Reapers then. In all their glory. <laughs> Holy fucking hell, man. Shepard done got himself into a station full of indoctrinated people. <laughs> you really walk into some shit, sir. <laughs> Hey, to you, good man. Hey, you arced that perfectly, madam. Singularity. Oh, damn you. Give me them. Ugh. Let's see if we can pull him. <laughs> come on! Where'd you come from? There's so many of them. Oh, you fucker. They put that cover there just to troll us. For biotics. Gotta reload. Peek your head out. There it is. One more to go. Then we can go up a little bit. There Ooh. I'm loving this though. This combat is so much damn fun, and Shepard's just soloing this shit. This is stuff that I've... <laughs> this is the shit that I love, man. Hard combat to keep you fucking on your toes here. If we had our squads, we would be wiping these suckers out completely. The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. Uh. Unknowable. It's foolish. 
foolish to assume that the Reapers mean doom for the galaxy. Legends say they've come through before, and yet life continues, doesn't it? Yeah, but only life that isn't at their apex. They left us here the first time because we were fucking cavemen, basically. We didn't know anything. We didn't know. We didn't know nothing. Why would they want to extinguish us? Extinguish us. What would be the point? There would be no point. So yes, they leave life here so more life can bloom eventually and then when they're at their apex they extinguish and make more reapers or whatever the fuck they're gonna do with it basically what they were doing with the human reaper we're using our life force to make a reaper it's foolish to think that they don't make reapers out of just every species out there Can you imagine seeing a hanar reaper what the fuck that's what happens get in there now is that that human they took our dna and only ours we're gonna have to use a big gun here. This guy. I don't want to use all of it right now, per se. Whoa! I'm getting done. When we get to our submachine gun. Shield down. Easy, man. Damn, you were arcing master, I swear. Hey, we got that shield. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Stop, drop, and roll. Negative, not that time. Lie. Good riddance, madam. They arc that one perfectly. Right behind cover. Oh, there's another one. Big guns. Did we miss or? Get out of here. Where'd he go? He's trying to sneak at us. He's going to get us. Unfortunately. We have to keep an eye on him. How did we not get him? This gun sometimes doesn't go off. Oh, he's back. Holy hell, man. This is fucking close. We'll get off the big guns. Did he go back? He must have went back. <laughs> Fly, bitch. <laughs> Come a fucker walk right into it. You clumsy klutz. Stop, stop and roll. <laughs> I fucking love that. Ma'am, I gotta say that from now on. Happened to the singularity. This went off. Stop dropping. Fucking fly. Hey, ma'am. Lost shield. This cover, though, it's just really tough. What makes this DLC tough is that we're re the the reticles are really hard. It doesn't fully smoothly go on to the other people sometimes. It just goes off. That makes sense. The reticles... It just disappears. And it doesn't go back on smoothly. Like when we would kill somebody before or switch a target before, the reticles around the target would just be a lot easier to show up. Onto the next target, but... Stop, drop, and roll. We got an. Uh, well, hey, it's only took us about 10 minutes. I think. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activate.
Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Do we have a choice? Warren Batarian Colonies call Normandy for pickup. Shit, gotta call Normandy for pickup, of course, but let's see if we can warn them. Alert. All colonists living in the Bahak system. This is. Shepard, no! Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Stop, Dr. Kenson. Hey, uh, Hack is gonna be pissed that we're gonna kill Kenson, I think. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, Hack. I think we failed. Dr. Kenson claims to approve of an eminent reaper invasion. Okay, we read that. You safely back? Sure. Stop, Dr. Kenson, from overheating the reactor core and destroying the base. <laughs> Hell. Fucking hell, where the fuck you guys come from? Yeah, sneaky suckers. How you like that? It's even better for you. Sheesh, it's going red on us. Could we really not go down these stairs here? What was these stairs for? Just nothing? Okay. So be it. Hey, Kenson. We gotta fucking stop this now. They're, they didn't even give us an option to not stop the mass or stop this asteroid from going. Shepard immediately activated it, cutscene wise, so. Regardless, man, Lily, we at least tried to save him. Colonists. She cut us off, though. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. You're wasting your time. I will stop you. You're wasting your time. <laughs> I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. She's indoctrinated. Just said the other one. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings, and you will just die. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Kenson. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Where did you guys come from? Sneaky sneakies? They've seen us. <laughs> They've seen me. <clears throat> We're like. Hold on, man. <clears throat> See, because look, the reticle's just not coming up there really good. Shepard is trapped. Keep him in there. You ain't keeping me in here. Overload, hold on. That's the way we gotta go, yeah? Let's look around. I wanna go back. Over here, element zero. over here no all right let me in Kenson you're only delaying the inevitable madam I mean she really is we feel okay about this destroying a mass relay we don't have a choice at this point so we're done we're done Just move my shield. Oh. Fucking hell Shield, there we go. See, look, it, it just goes off. Get that reticle on there. How you like that? Yeah. <laughs> 
Come here, suckers. How are you? Ed the May. Is there nothing over here now? It's unfortunate she got indoctrinated, though. Because her mind was in the right spot at first. Look at her. She's trying so hard. What the hell? She's all types of electromagnetic, whatever the fuck it is. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. How you like that, Kenson? Sorry. Get in there. You're sending more people to their death, I see. Let's push up a little bit. Singularity. You done? He's done. Can we arc a pull? Let's see if we can arc a pull. Oh. Why? Kenson! Let me in. How the hell are we gonna get off here? We didn't call Joker. Unfortunately. Let me just make sure we got everything. I'm looking for logs, mostly. Just any more kind of logs here. So we chose to try to save the Batarians and not call Joker. I still think that was the right call. Hopefully Joker knows that we're in trouble. He's gotta know at this point. We've been gone for days without any contact. EDA? Wait, what was that? Plasma venting aborted. There's a door there. Oh, that's where we gotta go. Over here. Look, nobody... Shit. Nobody activate this. Sneakies! Shepherd is in the maintenance area. There's a big boy. There's a pyro somewhere here. There he is. I think so. What's back here, though? Oh, this is element zero. Where? Right here. I mean, this is not the... This is another one. Shepherd's in the maintenance area. Get me off this station. <clears throat> Keep an eye out for pyros. That's all they got, really. Only thing that there's another pyro, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. I don't know. We're gonna big guns them anyway. Yep. See, look, we can't get a reticle on these people. Yeah, lost shield. Why gun? We lose so much ammo with this gun sometimes. I don't understand why. It looked like we had a reticle on him, but... There it is. It's okay. It does a shit ton of damage for us when it actually works, so it can't be OP all the time. There's another one here somewhere, is it not? I thought I seen another one. Hey, you... Oh, I guess the big gun killed him. 
Who would have thought? Warning. Access to the reactor area is restricted. We'll find our own way in then. This is Williams. I've got Shepard locked in the maintenance area, requesting backup. Warning. Access to the reactor area is backup! Now! Shit. Sorry, Williams. I had no choice but to kill you. Is that his name, Williams? Security lock overridden. <laughs> We've done cut through so many of these guards. Williams! Williams. Oh, there's another pyro. Run out of big weapons here. Not taking the cane was a really good call for them pyros. We don't have overload, but that is working just like our overload. So much element zero here. Oh, I hear him. Thousand credits. Look at Kenson. We're getting closer to you, madam. Get ready. Oh. That was a good shot. It really was. Damn it. That was a bad shot, sir. Come here. Come out and fight. You know you want to. I'm the only one allowed to stay behind cover. Where'd he go? Maybe we should push up a little bit, because they're just going in and out of cover here. Reload. Come here. Got you. Anyone else? Oh, there's one here. Somewhere. Isn't there one? There's one kind of like over there, is it not? Another one down. You hear that motherfucker? <laughs> <His> dead bodies. <laughs> Thanks for all the ammo. Because we definitely fucking need it. There's so much ammo just everywhere laying around. It's a burn lady. Yo, we gotta get him out. No! It's a big guy. Pyro. See ya! Pyro mother ever! Woo! Headshot! Let's go and knock us out. No? Good riddance, ma'am. Good riddance, sir. Anyone else need to get beat up? Bypass. We'll go to... Submachine Gun. Oh, it's only three! Really? I guess they're... They're just small favors. Here, we're just gonna drop it down one for you to make it a bit easier for you, sir. Ma'am. Look at that. Oh, there's the other one. Sorry, Kenson, but your nonsense is over with. Cooling 
Kenson, I don't really want to kill you for Hackett, you know, for Hackett's sake. Because you do mean a lot to Hackett, it seems. But I don't think we have a choice. You think he'll care? Because we're about to light our ass up, I'm sure. Wait, I've already came in there. We just cleared that sucker out. Oh, right here. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now! You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you have to do... I didn't want to kill her with the Warning. renegade interrupt, collision but. Imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. She had a grenade. Warning. There was no collision way. Imminent. We weren't gonna kill her. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Shepard is so Where nervous. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Damn it, we shouldn't have killed her right then and there. We might have got more dialogue. Fuck. It was... I seen the grenade and I just, you know, she's not gonna not use the grenade on us. She's fucking indoctrinated. With Dr. Kenson's project activated, the asteroid and the Reaper artifact are hurling towards the Alpha Relay. The impact will cause a supernova that could destroy the entire system. Escape is likely impossible, but if Shepard can contact Normandy, there might be still a chance. Fucking hell. Get to the comm tower and find escape shuttle. We do the right thing by just killing her like that. She was going to try to kill us with her grenade. You see somebody pulling a grenade, what you gonna do? To sit there and try to talk to him? You could try. We do have legendary charm. We was just thinking about ourselves. Thinking about our life that was in peril. We had to do it. We had to do it. But I know we probably missed dialogue. Unfortunately, you know we did. I'm sorry, Hackett, we done killed your friend. I think I think her death is imminent in this DLC. It feels like it probably is. Regardless if we would have shot her right then and there or not, I think some shit would have went down anyway that we'd had to shoot her. Analysis. So what's this? Now what's this? Heavy skin weave! More damage mitigation. We ain't gonna need it after this, cause it's over. <laughs> Maybe we can still find another mission out there somewhere, huh? Warning. Alpha relay collision imminent. Evacuation is recommended. Shepard. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing is hurtling towards... A re look at the man. Look how close it is to the mass relay. It's hurling towards it, and we're just stopping and picking up all the shit. Fuck okay. it. Power cells, thank you. Normalizing pressure in air lock. Well, they gave us power cells, so you know it's probably something that's going to need big guns. Anyone else want some? Oh, where'd you come from? Run back. Alpha relay proximity. We're timed here. Oh hell, friends, what the fuck we're gonna do? They're stopping us. Damn you. 
you suckers. We can fake guns him. See that arc? We kill him. What are you doing over there? Don't be throwing them grenades over here. Oh, see ya. Okay. I know what we gotta do. Strip them, pull them. Good riddance. That singularity, though. Fucking mech! I hope Normandy's listening. Shepard, they ain't listening. Just keep it up with the big guns. We're running out. We really need the guys dead more than him. No. Did we kill all the guys? The proximity is almost halfway. Get our pistol out because it's probably going to do better damage. I love how it is chilling here with us. Don't want to come over to cover. Can we get him flying? Oh. Good riddance. Damn. Any more people around? Yeah, look how close we are to this mass relay. What the fuck? <laughs> Activate comm relay. Lettuce. Joker, come pick us up. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shit. Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. No cost is too great. The project is a warning shot. You will not go quietly. Oh, I love that. No cost is too great. I love this one. We will not go quietly. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be. We will fight. We will sacrifice. And we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. So, Harbinger's their leader, probably. I think he's the leader of the Reapers. Has Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Let me on. Roger that. We just taught the Harbinger like Sovereign. Whoa. Get us out of here, Joker. Come on, Joker.
Man, I feel dirty. We had to do it, yeah? Right? All of them innocent lives, though. For a chance of more people living. Hackett's, Hackett's on the Normandy? <laughs> what the hell? Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? What have you heard? <laughs> he's he's got to be like, what the fuck? What did what did I? <laughs> I told Shepard to go there quietly, and Shepard blew up a mass relay and killed a shit ton of Batarians. Whoa! Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. <laughs> and now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I didn't want to do it. I, I didn't. I don't know. If we had a choice to do it or not do it, would you do it? I think I still would have done it. I know that sounds terrible because all them lies that just got lost. I think I still would have done it because we know... The Reapers were definitely coming through them relays. Look what Arbinger said at the end. You're becoming an inconvenience. So now they'll have to find another way again. So we stopped them at the Citadel. Now we stopped them at the Alpha Relay. Now they're going to have to find another way. Arbinger's talking to us as he's floating through dark space right now trying to get to our system. <laughs> that fucking Shepard. Had no choice. Hackett, I don't think we had a choice, sir. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. It was worth the price. What I did say the lot more we did is imagine the devastation the Reapers would have wrought by going through that relay and just going where the fuck they want. Okay, let's go over here and extinguish this. Let's go over here and extinguish this so quick. Now they don't have it so easy. And there'll be more chances for people to survive. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. We're gonna have to go on trial for this shit? Is that what he's saying? We gotta go to Earth? Hackett and Cerberus war with the Batarians, the Reapers. Hackett and Cerberus. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't think it is either, Hackett. I don't. Can we just admire that? Are we just going to say that Hackett is the leader of humanity, basically? Yeah, there's still leaders on Earth, I'm sure. He's the leader of the fleet. So basically that means the Alliance as a whole. And he is full force on our side. He just trusts Shepard. Okay, you say it was for the right. I'm okay with it. You're just going to have to go to trial. And I'll try to stop him a little bit. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. 
The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. I would like to bring the Batarians on board as well. To help us fight the Reapers, I don't think that ever will be. Hell, we're not even united now. None of the races are united at this point. Are they? No. Besides the council races, really. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. No, we're not. We're just definitely not ready. If it took that many people just to destroy Sovereign, and we've seen all them Reapers coming in... <laughs> I'll turn myself in, I preach the delay. They should be thanking me. They should be. Are we gonna turn ourselves in? We have the honor to turn ourselves in. I feel like Atticus... At this point, with all the shit that we did, if we're gonna have to go to trial, it's probably best to mitigate it by just turning ourselves in. But what we did was, I hate to say it, but it was probably for the best. But you would figure the Batarians would be standing trial, standing us on trial. They actually, their trial is not gonna, they're not gonna put us on trial. They're just gonna kill us. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. For you, Hackett. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Thank you, Hackett. I really appreciate that with the shit that we just had to do. He said, when Earth calls, make sure you're in your dress blues. <laughs> Going to be looking like we're in the Alliance again. We never fully left the Alliance, yeah? We became a Spectre. Well, I guess becoming a Spectre takes us out of the Alliance, per se. But still. We got 70% health for Shepard. Heavy weapon ammo, 90% capacity. Mission summary, Dr. Amanda Kenson was rescued from a Batarian prison on the planet Aratot. And Shepard confirmed her proof of a Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Kenson, who had been indoctrinated by a Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Dr. Kenson did not survive. The Bahak system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. Oh, man. We got 17,000 credits. We still don't have enough credits to get that last upgrade. 75,000. There's nothing else for us to do. What else is there for us to do? Hey, Kelly! Heavy skin wave. Well, I guess we can go upgrade. I was about to, when that cutscene ended, I was about to go up to the, <laughs> go up to our quarters and change our damn outfit. Because we're in some, we were in some crazy ass outfit. All right, well, let's upgrade Shepard's health. Sure. Does it matter? And we'll upgrade the heavy weapon ammo. How much credits do we have right now? We only have 32,000, so we didn't make it. I'm assuming the 32,000 credits may cross over. If not, then so be it. But this is it, friends. This is uh, the end. Anything on the terminal, Kelly? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should no. know? No, anything else, Commander. Good luck out there, Shepard. I can't believe it's over. I can't believe Mass Effect 2 is done. There's just, there's nothing else. We'll end it up here with Joker. We will save up here with Joker because everyone else was good. There was no talking to anyone else. We will talk to Joker. See if he has anything else. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. Edie and I are just enjoying the calm before the shitstorm, Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Whoa, man. Well, friends, we did it. We completed Mass Effect 2 as a whole. Let's look at the journal. Look at everything else. There's nothing else for us to look at. Nothing in the codex. It looks, says the journal still have stuff. What? What's in here? Is something in here that we didn't read, maybe? The Justicar. Mark always read. This action cannot be reverted. 
Joker. Save Joker, the prologue, remember that? What a hell of a fucking intro. Mass Effect 2. It's hard to say how I feel about this game because my... Ever think we'd be working for the bad guys? <laughs> Joker's going to talk. That's fine, let him talk. Mass Effect 2 has been a wonderful game from start to finish. It was a lot better than the first one. I really loved the I first hit one. I the head, Commander. We done for now, or do I have to use the bottle <laughs> I keep under here? <laughs> you done bullshitting, Shepard? <laughs> the first one was amazing. It was so nice to... See where Shepard's story started, to see the I companions... mom was bad with the backseat driving. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. To see our companions bloom into... What they are now, basically. Tally... Joker, and... Man, what I wouldn't give to go planet side. Wading through muck, getting shot in the face. Yeah, that is the life. <laughs> Tally, Shepard... Or not Shepard, well, Shepard's always here, yeah. Tally, Joker, and Garrus stuck true to us the whole time so far. I'd imagine that Joker's going to be in the third one, of course. I hope we see Tally. I just hope we see everyone, because I'm not sure how this is going to go. When we leave here, I'm not sure... If our crew will go off on their merry way once again, we don't know what the time jump's going to be. And I really don't know how the third one's going to go. The only thing we got, if the arrival was a paved way into the, into the third game, Shepard's going to have to go on trial for what he did. I wonder just how it's going to go, though, fully. Now we're not part of Cerberus anymore. I do still hope we can work with the elusive man. That would be great. I don't know, just so many great memories in this, so many awesome people that we met along the way. I, I just really do hope we can still salvage what we can with the Elusive Man and go on. It is unshackled, so the Elusive Man has no control over the Normandy anymore. So, there is that. I just hope we see the companions again. I, I don't know where they're going to go, because... By the way Mass Effect goes, the intros are always very good. So I imagine that the intro for Mass Effect 3 is probably very good. But well, we died in Mass Effect 2's intro. I don't know of anything atop that, but you never know. The Reapers are coming. The Reapers are fucking coming at this point. Harbinger. Harbinger's the leader of the Reapers. Got to be. Unless there's something else pulling the strings, Harbinger might be the, the lieutenant. The big top dog. It's just crazy what just transpired, though. Kenson finds a Reaper artifact. The Reaper artifact shows an invasion. Pretty much shows him what it wanted. And then capture Shepard, kill Shepard, Harbinger and all the rest of them have it easy because Shepard's gone. Fucking absurd, but the 300,000 people that we killed to stop that relay. You gotta think it was worth it. You gotta look outside the sacrifice and the few for the many there. I feel fucking terrible for it. Even if it is Batarians, I still feel terrible. There's not all Batarians are like that, I'm sure. They're not all slavers. Terrorists? Women, children, men? Some of them. A lot of them are innocent. And we just destroyed them all, but... At least all on that planet. That planet was destroyed. We didn't destroy... Well, we destroyed the whole system, but... I don't think... I just don't think, um... Let me go look at the system, though. I don't think... I don't, I don't know. It's hard to grasp, really. It's hard to fucking grasp. The Batarians are gonna hate us even more now, because they know who did it. But still, I want to see what happened to that, if we can fast travel to it. Oh, we're in the soul system right now. It's gone. It's all fucking gone. Everything that was in there was gone. Friends, take a look at the map. Everything is done. Oh. Anyways, let's get back to talking about how amazing Mass Effect 2 was. Mass Effect 2 was a wonderful experience, and I just can't wait to... See where Shepard's story goes from here. Because, just... It felt pretty over... With the suicide mission, yeah? I mean, our bigger goal to stop the Collectors was just done there. And, it... I said it when we came into the la the episode after the suicide mission was that we just felt like we poked the beehive because the Reapers are here now. But it also makes me wonder... If we destroy the Collectors, all we have left are the Reapers, and how are we going to fight the Reapers from this point? We're going to have to fucking... We're going to have to find a way. 
We're gonna have to find a way. I hope the indoctrination stuff gets touched on. Because it's just, uh, I think the scariest thing about the Reapers really is indoctrination, really. Because you don't know when you're done. You don't know when you're taken. So, just something to think about. Over the course of this playthrough, I'm just trying to think about all the, the great experiences. I'm just trying to think about all the great missions we had. We had so many great missions. It's, it's hard to pick a favorite, and it's hard to pick a favorite companion because I just, I loved it all. Some of the most memorable stuff was... Let's see, Tally's mission, Morton's mission, Legion's mission. There was just so many. So many. So much stuff that we learned. So much lore that we uncovered. And, well, here we are. Seriously, going into Mass Effect 3, I hope they bring the momentum that we had from Mass Effect 2's suicide mission. I hope they do. If they bring that momentum into that game, there's no way that game won't be the best game ever made. Because... This game was up there, it's the top three of best games I've ever played, and I've played a lot of good ones, but damn, friends, the feelings that we have with this, but I have a feeling with the momentum right now, with the end of the suicide mission, and we could imagine that Bioware probably got praised for that for so many years, until whenever Mass Effect 3 came out, so they knew what they had to build on, off of. If they take that and just run with it in Mass Effect 3, holy. There were some wish list things I hope for Mass Effect 3, so let's talk about some wish list stuff. Wish list. Things I do want in Mass Effect 3. I want a more RPG based game. This is an RPG, yes, but the systems in this game were pretty minimalistic when it comes to armor, weapons. The first game we were able to jump into the inventory, we were able to put in mods and stuff. We were also able to change our armor. I hope the third game incorporates that a lot. I want to see stats. I want to I want to see things. I want to feel the upgrades for our stuff. I hope that that's a fucking thing. Because I love that from Mass Effect 1. Yeah, Mass Effect 1, we were kind of using the same upgrades, the cooldown one, the chemical rounds and stuff. But we were able to change Shepard's armor. Granted, I just wanted to stay in the N7 armor in the first game. I hope there is a system that lets us dye armor, change armor that may not be N7 armor to N7 armor, or something like that. And just a more extensive inventory system, yeah? Because this game, it felt like we got credits, and the only thing that we would buy with the credits is just upgrades. And we pretty much bought everything in the game but one damn upgrade. I wonder if we missed enough credits, sadly, that made us not be able to buy that. But that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for that. I did love the the Normandy in this game. The Normandy had so much interactions with companions. There was so much stuff that we could just interact. I, I'm hoping for a bit more, though. Specifically, I'm talking about the whole Garrus situation in this game. Garrus is amazing. We all love Garrus, and I still love Garrus as much as I loved him in the first game. I just want it more with Garrus because, well, I just said it like five times. We love Garrus a lot. We want to hear more dialogue from Garrus. I'm just hoping the dialogue system is a bit more fluid, easier. Does that make sense? Like, after every mission, the way I'm envisioning this perfectly for Mass Effect as a whole, I'm envisioning going onto a mission, right? Coming back from a mission, or hold on, scratch that. First, we expend all dialogue with everyone on the Normandy. We go to a mission, and then it restocks more dialogue every single time we go out and come back. But if we go out to, I don't know, a place and buy something and come back, okay, that's fine not to upgrade dialogue to something else. But I hope after every time we do something, something triggers to keep us, that would just keep us so more freaking immersed. Because some of the small things in this was we would walk around and we would hear the crews talking, okay? It would be so much better if they were talking about current events as in what we just did. That would be so damn immersive. Others things that could probably change would be the planet scanning. Yeah, we had that planet scanning mod and look at you probably can't say it because I'm, I'm there. But friends, we have so much fucking resources. So much. We would have lost more money if we didn't have that mod in because we would have been buying more probes. I don't think I would have scanned every planet to to depleted 
but we have so much resources because that mod i just that was it felt necessary in a let's play so we can just scan it then read and move about our business because i would have sat there and scanned and scanned and scanned and then read and then scanned and scanned and scanned again i'm hoping that's let's just maybe they can improve that if it is a thing in the next game i hope but there's just other things in my mind that I can't really think about because I'm just on a high and I'm just really nervous that it's over. We always get that blank feeling when a game's done. But we are starting Mass Effect 3 immediately. We might have a day or two break from this point, but expect Mass Effect 3 on the channel immediately. There's no way I, I, I can't see what the hell is going to happen. I imagine that the graphics will be a lot better. I'm hoping the combat system is a bit smoother because the combat system in this game was amazing really didn't have a trouble the whole time i was having trouble with this dlc for some reason i don't know why the reticle here you see the reticle on the private terminal it was just not showing up immediately like it was earlier it would be a, it, it was like a better flow outside of the dlc for some reason i don't know if that was their idea of making it a bit harder it was tough especially we almost died there with the mech at the end or well, not the end but in the beginning with project row pulsating that was fucking badass man i wonder what would have happened if we would have died there though because ultimately the artifact knocked us the fuck out and they captured us so if we would have died they probably would have captured us anyway wow so interesting another thing i want to touch on is romance stuff romance we didn't romance anyone in this game we had our little thing with kelly which was funny as hell but it wasn't a romance, thankfully. Liara's romance with Shepard in this game was so short, but it was it was very it was very nice. It was nice to know that we were able to branch something between the first game. I just hope she's in Mass Effect 3. I'm hoping that all these fucking companions are in Mass Effect 3. And I imagine just by the way Mass Effect is that they are, because the only companion we didn't see is Ashley. There's no way we can, she's dead. Unfortunately. We were able to see every companion from the first game. There's a lot of companions in this game. A lot. I wonder if they're going to keep that momentum in the... That's a, that's a word I'm just... It's just sticking to me. It's momentum. Because I want them to keep up with this. I'm wondering... How many companions will end up being in the third game. I, I can't wait to see. We're going to see new companions, I'm sure. And I just can't wait. Because every single companion that they ever introduced was awesome. In their own way. Man. Well... I'm just rambling on now, friends, but this is the end of Mass Effect 2, and I do appreciate everyone showing this series love and support from the beginning and now to the end. And I'm just, um, well, I'm just excited to really move forward, man. I am, but we worked so hard, I feel just, oh man, I don't know, I just feel like we did so much, we read so much, we did everything possible this game has to offer. And I feel really upset that we're going to leave it behind and start fresh again. I'm excited, exhilarated, whatever the words are. Exhilarated is the word, maybe? I don't know. I'm just excited to see what the hell happens, man, in the next one. But anyways, my friends, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart being here through Atticus Shepard's story from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2. Onward we march to Mass Effect 3. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. And as always, in words of our dear savior, Atticus Shepard, I should go.